I know. So that was really telling you. Okay. Uh, did you really talk to Michael E at all? Yeah, he really didn't help me much at all. Okay. And he told me he got 400 other cases that were more important than mine. Sworn, I got sworn statements from people that assert that will come into court and testify that my mother is a lying, drunk, and alcoholic mental case. This guy's known her for 40 years. Um, key points of defense. Uh, Mrs. Hoffman has filed these charges against me in the past in 2002 in this very court. Honorable Judge Malik saw through it, threw him out the last time. I never was smart enough to go ahead and, and file for file, file false charges. I dropped it there. She has filed these similar charges against my father. All, all these charges were tossed out of court. It's a matter of public record. Um, she's also filed charges against her brother. People that have known her since high school uh, will even testify that she can be a nasty, delusional, and abusive drunk. Uh, Mr. Halsey, I don't want to stop this sure. Let me ask you one direct question. Sure. This might resolve the entire issue. I've talked to you, right? Who's obviously representing your mother. Sure. Um, I haven't talked to you about this because I didn't want to my first time. The offer, as of now, they're going to drop all the charges. Because of okay, so she because you heard yourself. Sure. Sure. And then I'm going to offer you what's called an ACC. I'm not going for it. Let me explain. You know what I mean? I, I know. I've been there. there was, it, she filed false charges against me. She's done this in the past. I sat there and took it. I got her sworn statement perjuring herself. What I'm going to do is I'm going to prove that she's lied, and I'm going to get these charges thrown out. I'm going to turn around and I'm going to sue her for all the press. You, you, you don't, you've had no prior experience of knowing what you did in it, did you? No. You know, you don't, okay. She filed false charges. Um, she continued to harass me. I, I couldn't afford my medications for my bipolar disorder. I got really depressed. She kept uh, talking to me, dangling the charges over my head, saying I'm going to go to jail and all this shit. I ended up getting um, real depressed and whatnot. I, really, I ended up in uh, St. Mary's for, for two weeks. And while I was in St. Mary's, the whole time I was in St. Mary's, she kept calling the nurses, telling them that I called and was calling and threatening to kill her. So then they were harassing me and going, Pete, what are you doing? I go, I'm, I'm not doing this. And then she was calling the court and saying that I had gotten out and to, to come after me. And, and the police that initially went to the scene um, I've got a wit two witnesses that the police officer threatened me and threatened my threatened my friend. Um, um, do you know Patricia Mag Magellan? She's um, Mary Duffy's right hand in command. I made her aware, and there's the emails that the sheriffs had threatened me in front of people, and um, that all got swept under the rug. And. Here's some key points of defense. I, 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 um, she, she can act all day without drinking. She's on prescription pills she's addicted to. Um, she got driven here because she obviously cannot not drink for, for one day. Um, the officer uh, that came to the scene will even admit to the fact that she was heavily intoxicated upon. Um, this situation. Okay. I think everything you tell me, we need to say this. If she didn't want to press charges, the DA has to stop the case. You understand? Know so it's not like you can go to trial if you don't have a complaining witness. You know what I'm saying? So they, so they just brought these false charges against me to rat me and yeah. drop, drop the case. Yeah. She. Yeah, well, she. Yeah. Well, no, I mean she. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She brought these false charges against me to harass me. And the damage that it's done up till now. I ended up in St. Mary's. I got bit by a, by a, um, a flea or something while I was in there. I got Lyme disease out of the deal. The only thing you can do, honestly, is return from that and that's what I I think you do it your mother, but you can civilly sue her. That's what I do. You do that. You can't bring criminal charges against her. I mean, obviously, filing a, a false report, I think you can do too, but it's pain and suffering and harassment mm -hmm. and all that stuff. Yeah, and right. civilly, but not criminally. Right. Well, I, I hear you on that. Okay. Sorry, I found it out, but I'm just so, so flustered that, uh, how long has this relationship been bad between your mother? Uh, she's been an alcoholic for years. She's, uh, my father's divorced. That's why my father's divorced her, because she filed charges against, he, he signed that today. She filed false charges against him. She filed false charges against a bunch of people. And then she, then as soon as she, uh, it's time to come into court, she, uh, bailed. My father. 
Yep, that's from that's a woman that's known her for 25 years. Miss Rick Ziegler is the was a bar ran the bar in town. So he's had her thrown out of the bar so many times for, for getting nasty with people. Well, what things do they make though? Well, no, well, these are just people that I attest to the fact that Emily Jean Health, which has a drinking problem, and affects her judgment and how she treats people. And, th and they're willing if, if subpoenaed. And I've got more people that are, that are willing if subpoenaed to come in, but so they're dropping the charges because they know they got nothing. Really. <coughs> and, and, and what that police officer did when he brought his five, five uh, buddies in the squad car that threatened me in front of two people is, is not going to go away either. Uh, I'm going to file charges against the sheriff's department. They tried to enter the house. She must have told them that my buddy Mike had guns or something because the officer tried to enter the premises and we told him, you do not have a warrant, there's no felony in progress, get the F out of here. So he brought five of his friends to try and raise us and try and get into the house and we had done nothing wrong. And I said, what am I being charged with? He would not even give me um, the arresting report. I said, what am I being charged with? And he wouldn't tell me, that I'm going to get you later. Don't worry, I'm, I'm, you're my new project and all this stuff. So that kind of scared me too, because now, I, now I've got a police officer threatening me on her work, you know? So, okay, this is something absolutely clear. In today's case, if the case is dismissed, you're okay with that. But the officer in ACB is not okay with that. He's going to go to trial, he's going to go to trial, and he's going to in court. Make her look like an idiot that she is. No, she's she's a drunken loser. She's a drunken loser, piece of shit. I'm sorry. She's just she has so emotionally, physically abused me, and everything else. And I've grown up that it's it's on. I want the whole world to see who she really is. And the next time she cries, ooh ooh ooh, wolf, they're all gonna know in Parma. They're all gonna remember this. The judge is gonna remember it. And when she comes in and, and brings somebody else up on false charges, you're going to get out of here. Don't even want to hear it. Talk to the hands. Thank you. 